Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file. I'm going to cut it out on plasma cutter. It's 120 inches times 96 inches. And it is a bitmap RGB. It's basically a JPEG. So to help Corel, and you cannot do anything inside Corel if you're going to cut it out, especially with a plasma cutter, until you turn it into a, a vector file. So to turn it in a vector file, you have to trace it. I've already traced it, but I took that 120 inch file down to six inches to allow Corel not to have to trace so much. I think it actually does a better job and takes less time. I'm gonna select this item and you can see it's got a white background. I'm gonna to go to object group and ungroup and I'm gonna grab this black and put them in order, keep them in order. And you can see all the white that it took away. Now that's not a entirely bad thing. In this scenario, it might even work if we used it. Because if you take a rectangle, put it around here, and then smart fill it with black, it's gonna take just a second. You get the exact same effect. And then you could take the smart fill away and you'd have that same pattern so that's just another tidbit of thought. All right, we don't need that. We need these three. I made the page 150 inches, 150 inches. Most plasma cutters, probably 48 inches by 48 inch page. But we're going to take and group these together for just a second. And we're going to hit P, put them in the center of the page. And then we're going to go into enlarge them in you could enlarge them now. So what we need to do is go up to group and ungroup. I'm going to hit T and put them on the, so they're all evenly spaced. I'm going to put them equal distance apart. And because it should snap right to it. Now I'm going to take my nudge distance. I'm going to set on two inches. I'm going to twice on this one and once on this one. So now they're equal distances apart. Now we're going to left click, no fill, right click outline. And this is our product. This is our uh, cutting out ability on the plasma table or laser table. We don't have to make it that size yet. But since we're working in the center of the page, we're going to do this. We're going to change our nudge factor. That is like 49 inches. We're going to change our nudge factor to 55 inches. I'm going to hit P to make sure, whoop, can't do that. I'm going to group them together again and hit P just to make sure I'm in the center of the page. Now I'm going to take control D and I'm going to make a duplicate. I'm going to move it over. Both of them are in the center of the page. I'm going to move them over a little bit by holding down the control key. I'm going to get a two-point line holding down the control button, the control key so it's perpendicular, and, and hit it in the center of the page. Now what we can do, we've got two copies. So there's several ways you can do this. I'm going to delete the top half of this one in the bottom half of this one. And it'll take a little bit of work in it. You'll find that if you do this enough like this, and then come in from the top down at when you first start, that way you can get as close as you can. We got all those. And then just do the opposite on these, but actually go from the bottom up. Zoom in here a little bit. This is really easy. It's a little bit time consuming. And that black line is gonna end up helping us here in just a second. Because that's gonna be our stopping point for our graphic. And now we can just try the Smart Fill tool and fill these in. And you can kind of see what they're gonna look like. Whoop. It got off the page. So 
So there's already the four or the six panels. I've got a little bit more trimming here to do. And here's kind of the, the neat spot. I'm going to grab our smart fill and move it down. And you'll see why in just a second. Because I have that line there that's stopping the, um, tell you what, let's move these all over. Nope, not yet. Don't want to do that yet. So that line that we drew, now if we left click, right click, you can, that line has sealed our bottom where we cut through, if that makes any sense. If we didn't do that, it would leak. So that line is helping us from leaking. But now we need another line up here to make the border, to make the same border. So the way to do that to me would be take, take a rectangle, and this is unorthodox kind of in a way. There's several ways you could do this, but I'm gonna start on here and go and get about the same distance it is off here. Call that good. And then I'm gonna put it up top. Whoop. Start moving and then hold down your control button. So all I'm doing is creating a border. And I'm gonna put it right on, right on that line. And then hopefully this will work. Get your virtual segment delete key and delete these lines. Uh, so you want to keep the closed ones, but the ones that are going further in, you want to keep that one and take that one away. Kind of got to use your imagination. That one was a little bit off. Now, if we smart fill it again, we get that, move it out of the way, do that six times. Left click, right click in red. Make sure it's a hairline. So it'll cut. Even on a plasma cutter, it'll help cut. I see a little bit of problem right in here. I don't know if it was a trace. Uh, these two parts could need to be spaced out. Uh, it looks like they kind of joined those two. I'd have to look at the original drawing. That's the bottom one. Yeah, see, it's in the, even in the drawing that's wrong, because this is the original drawing. So, as a pla and even a, a laser person, you need to look for stuff like that. Uh, plasma wouldn't really hurt too much, but if you cut these two lines out too close, okay, I'm gonna have to use the freehand pick tool. Ah. Trying to grab those nodes. We can put that one back. Just separate those guys. That, like right here, you could do two things. You could, they're so close together that you either need to move them apart or put them together and then use the virtual segment delete key between them and make a whole new item. And then after you did that, I would use a smart fill tool to fill that in. It would look better if it was corrected. None of the other ones look like they have that. But just do that to the other parts. And you've got, don't forget to smart fill them. Um, and that will seal up all your joints. And you could actually make this box <clears throat> with the contour tool and just make a whole new box and make it perfectly even. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.